Hi, so I just wanted to give you a quick video on our PAD20 sensor. This sensor is actually designed for, to detect air and gas bubbles that are unwanted in any, in any system. So if you've got a closed loop system like a heating or a cooling circuit for example, um, an unwanted air can be detected quite easily using, using this sensor. So also if you've got filling applications where you're uh, filling pots, cups, things like that and you're backfilling with nitrogen um, and you want to detect when the products run out and you're pushing nitrogen through uh, you, you can avoid wasted product and half filled cups and things like that this is this is exactly the sensor for that kind of application so it's as I say it's detecting unwanted air and gas bubbles in, in systems um, you can see on the software here I've got the PAD20 immersed in a, a fluid that's got some washing up liquid in it so it's just water and washing up liquid mixture and I've generated a bit of foam on top uh, so you can actually see uh, the, the sensor change when it's introduced to the to the air or the foam if you like on, on top. Uh, from the software here so the sensors showing me at the moment switch one you can see um, and I've got an accumulated value so this is the actual reading of the output of the sensor and it's reading round about zero so plus or minus 20 something like that but zero it's uh, it's actually hovering about around that level pretty steady uh, it's just my movement in in the system that's causing that so this is exactly what you do in your application is you you install the sensor and then monitor where your accumulated value would be and then you can add a threshold to switch when you are receiving a or the sensor seeing a certain amount of of air so switch put output one I've got a threshold set of 3000 I can switch to switch two uh, and I've actually set that at 7,000 just to show the difference in the in the two values there. So at the moment, both switches are on because they're in a in a safe state, and I've decided that I want this sensor to be active high. So when it's in a in a fluid and immersed, I get a, a nice output one on the on the sensor. And as soon as I get start to see any air, both both of these two switch states will return to zero soon as we cross these two threshold lines so switch one I've got set for 3000 and switch to 7000 um, on the left hand side you can see the thresholds I've set there you can also see the sensitivity that I've set um, 100 is so it's a 0 to 100 scale 100 being the most sensitive to air 50 halfway between and 0 is, is the least sensitive I've also set a half a second uh, response delay release delay on there so I need to see uh, the, the accumulated value steady for around half a second before I actually get uh, an affected output uh, and that can be adjusted as well accordingly. Uh, logic, I've got PNP output but we can also use NPN push pull or we can actually disable the output so if we don't want two outputs we only want one output we can disable one of them and as I say the polarity I've got active high I could turn that to active low if, if necessary if that's what I wanted to do. So as you can see with the sensor uh, immersed in the, the washing up liquid I'm getting a nice steady uh, output not much uh, going on there as soon as I start to rise or lift the sensor out of the fluid you can see I'm starting to accumulate some air around the sensor now if I go too far you can see I've, I've now switched output one off so I've, I've not quite reached output two of 7000 if I go a bit further out I now have and I'm now both sense both switches are set to say I've got too much air uh, in the system. If I start putting that back in again, you can see that that goes down again and accumulates a nice steady value to say no, no air on the on the sensor tip at the moment. Uh, I'm nice and happy. I'll show you on the switch output two the difference. So again, the, the threshold's a little bit higher. So as I start rising the sensor and it starts seeing some of the bubbles, uh, you watch switch output one go off as it gets to 3000 start going a bit more a bit more a bit more now output two's off and I've reached both outputs again start putting the sensor back in output two's back on keep going in and in and in and then you go output one both back again so there you can see um, how sensitive or uh, how easily it is to detect air in a closed system so one more time we go up both outputs off, back in again, both outputs on. So we can return back to normal. So that's that's our PAD20 air or gas bubble detection sensor. Very useful for detecting unwanted air and gas bubbles in closed circuits. So it's 
quick uh, gives you a quick idea of when you might have a leak or a, something in, in this unwanted in the system air and gas okay thanks very much